Okay, so Assalamualaikum. Welcome to USA Foodies. Uh, today I'm also going to teach you how to make alu katli. Uh, this recipe is um, an invented recipe that I just simplified it. I mean, it's not my recipe because alu katli is a very common dish and everybody makes it, so I'm not going to claim rights to it. But I did modify it to make my life easy. So this is what I do to make it easy. In this, I have about four um, potatoes that I have cut um, diagonally like this, and like you cut, cut for pakoras, uh, alu pakoras. Uh, and then in here, I have added um, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, haldi, about half a teaspoon or three quarter teaspoon, and then I have added um, zira powder. So I added all of this and I nicely gave it a good mix. And I'm just going to let it sit so that the salt and all the spices get stuck on the potato. And then I'm going to show you how I make this easy version of alu kutli on the stove. Okay, so you're going to heat a pan and then in the pan you're going to add some oil. To this I'm going to add some zira about a teaspoon and as it's going to splutter I'm also going to add some green chilies Maybe about two green chilies that are slit in small slices. Remember this that when you cook green chilies in oil, they kind of make the oil spicy and the dish gets spicy as well. So you want to make sure, according to your family's needs, you're adding the spice to this. And then I'm going to use about a teaspoon or maybe a Three quarter teaspoon of kalonji in here. I really like kalonji in alu patri. By adding the spices on the potato, I'm just avoiding the frying process. Making it a little bit easier. Okay, then I added some garlic to this. I'm gonna reduce the flame now because I don't want anything to burn. And I'm gonna bring the temperature down. I'm gonna add about one to two tablespoons of this um, tomato sauce. And then it's gonna flutter and just gonna close it. The oil while it's closed so everything comes down to the same temperature So I'll let the tomatoes fry and all I'm going to do is, once I see that the oil has oozed out and everything is cooked nicely, I'm just going to add the potatoes in there. Make sure you get all the spices from the bottom. And give it a good mix. And then I'm just going to add about a quarter cup of water in here. I'm going to increase the flame to somewhere in between medium and low and recover it and let it cook. 
So these were cook covered for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what kind of potatoes you have. And these are done. How you can check is you can use your spatula and break it apart and see if it breaks easily. Um, because they're cut so thinly, they're uh, easily cooked. And this makes a good um, breakfast if you cut the potatoes into smaller pieces. It could work as uh, aloo tarkari also. If you add a little bit of water in here and make it a little bit of a gravy, you have aloo tarkari. So at this point, I'm going to put some kasuri methi. I'm just going to crush it. I'm not going to put any more chilies, which you put to garnish. And then I'm going to use, if you have dhania, go ahead and use that. I have my dried dhania, so I'm going to use that in here. And quarantine, you have to be a little creator. So. I opted for the dry garnishing. If you have some red chilies, like the red green chilies, the green chilies that have turned red, they look really nice in here. If you have them, do add it. Just check for salt, make sure the salt is right. Because the potatoes do absorb the salt, so you want to just make sure it is. And there you go. You could sprinkle some chaat masala if you want in there. It's totally optional if you are in favor of some. Just saying. We have a very easy peasy aloo katri recipe. No fuss that you can make for breakfast in the morning or it could be lunch or dinner. And we're gonna have this for dinner actually. And along with this, I'm making black pepper chicken. I'm also adding the recipe for that. All right, my foodies. I hope you like this recipe. It is super simple as always. I try to cook simple food that's easily cooked in short time with few ingredients so enjoy your alu katli with some nice puris or parathas and have a wonderful day if you try this recipe recipe please do not forget to subscribe like and share our usa foodie channel remember our goal is to uh, get enough money to donate to an organization and that's why i try to take the time out to make these uh, videos for you so please do your part all right, Allah Hafiz.